everyone! Today we're going to explore some of the most popular bedroom design and decorating trends that are all the rage. Some of the main themes that define current bedroom trends are bold statements, a desire to showcase personality, and luxurious comfort. To that end, I'd like to thank Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. Brooklinen is a company that makes luxury bedding without the luxury markup. I mean, did you know that sheets can retail for up to 10 times what they cost? It's crazy. So Brooklinen cuts out the middleman to make sure they're offering quality and comfort at the most affordable price possible. The classic and luxe hardcore bundles cost between $200 to $250, depending on the size of your bed, but comparable luxury sheets can cost over $400. Since you spend a third of your whole life in sheets, don't you want them to be insanely comfortable? If you want to give your bed a serious upgrade, you can save 25% by purchasing their hardcore bundle. You'll get a core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. I ordered their Lux sheets, which feature a luxurious 480 thread count. They're made out of sateen, which gives them a slightly luminous finish and makes them warm and buttery soft, and ideal for year-round comfort. I tried my Brooklyn and sheets last night for the first time, and I had the best sleep. It felt like sleeping on a cloud. I couldn't recommend them more. If you want to try them out too, get $20 off any order over $100 by using my code POSHPENNIES at checkout. Thank you Brooklyn Inn for supporting this channel. Okay, back to our bedroom trends. The first bedroom trend that is everywhere right now is the use of botanical wallpaper and murals. Wallpaper is huge right now, and the trending patterns that we're seeing a lot of right now are William Morris style wallpaper, floral and botanical motifs, and beautiful full wall landscape murals and scenic panels. There was definitely a time when using wallpaper felt intimidating, and a lot of people would limit themselves to experimenting with it in small rooms, like for example, in a small powder room. But now it's not just about sticking a patterned wallpaper in an inconspicuous corner and hoping that nobody will notice. No, it's doing the whole room now, and sometimes even the ceilings. Imagery that depicts nature is good for our mental health, as you may remember from my video about how to decorate if you have anxiety or depression. So I think that this is a trend that we're drawn to right now and that will be around for quite some time. Patterned rugs. Another way we're seeing pattern being incorporated into the bedroom is through the use of interesting tonal rugs. Rugs with grids, checkers, stripes, and blocky designs are all very popular right now. Bringing pattern into the bedroom this way is great for neutral lovers, but also for people that feel a bit shy about playing with bold colors. Dark and moody colors. Earth tones are still very much on trend, but as I predicted in my trends video earlier this year, there has definitely been an uptick in the use of rich, dark, moody colors in the bedroom. People are craving cocoon-like spaces that are cozy and enveloping, so I think that this trend is here to stay for a while. Some of the colors we're seeing a lot of right now are deep greens, moody blues, and even black. If you're not into the dark bedroom trend, and maybe you're more a uh, neutral bedroom type, then you'll definitely want to pay attention to the next big bedroom trend, which is layered bedding. When you bring in a diversity of textures into your room through your bedding, you're really helping to bring in depth and dynamics to your space, especially if you're working with a neutral color scheme. Often in pictures, for staging purposes, you'll see five, six, even seven different layers of bedding used. Obviously, that's not gonna be most normal people's everyday bedding situation, but it communicates the trend, which is bringing in layers to add warmth, comfort, and visual interest to your bed. The layered bed trend is a direct contradiction to what Emily Henderson said in her 2022 trend forecast, which was that unfussy monastery bedding was going to be trending this year. I do think there will always be a group of people that will appreciate the minimalistic, clean, very pared back bed with like one linen sheet pulled over the mattress as they find it calming, but I think that most people right now are drawn to the layered cozy bed. I don't know, what look do you prefer? Millwork. There's been a huge, huge resurgence in the use of millwork in bedrooms and in interiors in general. This trend is set to continue into 2022 and beyond. The appeal behind millwork is that it can add instant character to dull spaces and it helps to create a warm and inviting feeling in the bedroom. So if you're more into super contemporary, sleek or minimalistic design, this one may not be for you, but anyone that loves more traditional design styles or feels that their bedroom is falling a little 
little flat or lacking character, this trend should make you very happy. Today, interior millwork is used mainly for aesthetic reasons. It doesn't provide any structural support to your home, but psychologically, the feeling of being in a room that is reinforced by things like paneling, crown molding, and baseboard trim can have a deeply comforting effect, and it creates a sense of safety and well-being, which are all things that you wanna feel in a bedroom. And it's relatively easy to DIY, so it's really no surprise that this trend is exploding. Oh, and as a side note, in case you didn't know, pole wrap is the new shiplap. Statement beds. Statement beds and headboards are definitely having a moment right now. Anything from beautiful curved headboards to channel tufted velvet headboards to wide winged headboards and super elongated headboards. Some people are foregoing the traditional headboard altogether and having ledges built directly into the whole span of the wall behind the bed. Basically like a built-in headboard. Upholstered beds, of course, are still very popular and four-poster beds are also cropping up quite a lot. Medium wood tones. All sorts of wood tones are popular right now, but what I'm noticing is that wood tones are shifting a touch darker and warmer. This might be due in part to the surge of people using vintage furniture and the types of woods that are associated with those pieces. I'm not too sure. But there isn't quite as much emphasis right now on the usual light whitewashed oaks we've been seeing for the past few years. And because a lot of people are trying to bring warmth and coziness and comfort into their spaces, white bedroom furniture is not super popular at the moment either. This actually brings me to the next trend, which is black accents. Black accents are popping up all over bedrooms. I know a lot of people say black is timeless and I agree, but right now we're seeing a lot of black being used as accents. Whether in the form of a sconce, a grouping of candlesticks, or a side table, or all three, like in this picture, black accents are huge in interior design and decorating right now. If you're feeling like your bedroom is just a little too airy or that something's missing but you're not sure what, try adding a few small black accents. They're the perfect anchor. Textured finishes. A lot of trending bedroom finishes feature reeded, fluted, scalloped, plastered, and pleated finishes. And surfaces wrapped in linens or grass cloth are also having a moment. Of course, furniture and accents featuring cane and rattan are still going very strong. Cozy seating areas. Carving out a cozy seating area in the bedroom is becoming increasingly popular. People are incorporating an armchair paired with a lamp and a side table in a corner, or a bench at the foot of the bed, or sometimes even a small sofa if there's space for it. Sculptural elements. We're seeing a lot of items in the bedroom with sculptural silhouettes. A lot of cylindrical legs and pedestal-shaped night tables, but also blocky shapes are big right now. Other sculptural items being used in the bedroom are large table lamps, often shaped like urns, huge paper pendants, and beautiful wall sconces hung above night tables. I think shapes like these are really interesting because they're basically pieces of art that also function as practical bedroom furniture or decor. Splurging on quality items. Fast fashion for the home is on its way out. This means that many people are splurging on a few high quality items rather than filling their homes with what one might call disposable furniture. If you do wanna splurge on something in the bedroom, think about where you feel you'll get the biggest return on your investment. Maybe a new mattress or perhaps new bedding and sheets, or maybe even a new bed frame is in order. Turns out that during the pandemic, the people who splurged on quality items in order to feel more comfortable in their space are now unwilling to do without those luxuries. So what do you think about that? If you're looking to splurge on some high quality bed sheets, don't forget that you can use my code POSHPENNIES to get $20 off any Brooklyn and order over $100 right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as I always say about trends, pretty much anything you do in your home will eventually seem outdated sooner or later. So don't worry too much about it. The important thing is that you always do what you love because that way you'll be always sure to love your home. Take care, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.